and for those who are connecting online i've taught you that distance is no barrier that every spirit that is troubling you must leave and every condition that is in partnership with any spirit mocking god in your life it's time to insist it must go you are a man of god and you have come here because of there are certain deficiencies of results you've seen in your life and your ministry it's time to obtain grace genuine grace that empowers you to go back and produce results hallelujah praise the name of the lord but my emphasis tonight i and, and i began to sense this very strongly as i prayed is god really really wants to step in to bring healing miracles healing miracles the the spread of sicknesses and diseases mysterious occurrences eating up people's bodies you see someone alive and strong standing but something is dying within him heart dying liver dying kidney dying brain dying what a devil how does it transport itself from anywhere until it finds itself in your brain then it latches there and starts growing Yet we call them unicellular. What gave them the intelligence to know that that is your brain? That is your heart. That is this and that. Hallelujah. That all the pain you are going, don't wait until you are, they diagnose it and say, this is finally this. If it is discomforting you, that devil must leave this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. How about those who have all kinds of dreams? activities of familiar spirits masquerading as loved ones that you have seen help those under the anointing i'm angry in my spirit oh let me tell you and that that anger in partnership with the anointing is about to be unleashed in this place there is a holy anger that is necessary for certain levels of breakthrough when you love god's people and you see them under oppression except you are you are also satanic you should not be smiling hallelujah there are some of you that all your earnings have finished in drugs or treatments you see it's another dimension of the manifestation of the devourer because when your health is disturbed no amount becomes too much to keep your life and 10 million naira can finish in one month because of a devil masquerading in your body so it's not only healing you are going to receive there must be restoration do you believe that restoration 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 now there are those who are not sick in terms of infirmity but they are diseased they lie down and they cannot sleep the trouble that is on you is heavier than the bed you are lying down on and it's as if the bed is on you you wake up tired more tired than you because there's trouble their school fees, your children abroad, you are thinking of taking care of them, the ones here, all kinds of trouble, maybe the rates, housing has increased. No, a miracle service is a convergence where God brings his people and allows them to collide with his transforming power, with his miracle working power. There is a consolation to the believer's Christian experience that God can arise and he can visit men and with visitations come redemption hallelujah gentlemen i announce to you that this is a miracle service where god will raise you from the dust of shame finally in the name of jesus christ raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like pharaoh did that of joseph you believe that shout a loud amen hallelujah i hope you know that the garment shame and despair can be worn like a garment is it in your bible that a man can wear it the same way i cannot look at someone dressed on suit and say you are wearing traditionals no a man can wear the garment of shame and walk with it walk with it to your place of work walk with it to and several people who should help you just ignore you you don't know what they are seeing they don't know what they are seeing but the results of rejection is clear can i tell you psychologists teach us that rejection is the worst thing 
that can happen to a man from a psychological standpoint to be rejected means to be given a clear message that you are not needed within a system you are not needed within your workplace that is that is where people try to pretend so that they belong but there's something god can place on your head that when he places it on your head even from the prison the king can send for you and bring you out of any dungeon I hope you believe what I'm telling you listen let me say this one last one last encouragement and then we'll pray always be conscious of the fact that spiritual forces have dominion and exact dominion over the physical men even science has agreed with religion and spirituality that no man walks alone you see a man alone but there are forces we carry is that true a man can walk alone if you met the madman in gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand you would believe you were shaking one man not knowing you were shaking a legion the same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man you just you will know that you shook hand with speed you shook hand with favor you shook hand with breakthrough you shook hand with elevation it is true graces are trapped in men it is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work this is why I came here Lord I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family my loved ones why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes there is a way out I don't know what the way is but I know there is a way out and then you engage by faith are you ready to pray will take two or three minutes to pray I want you to release your faith sincerely God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power. Lift your voice in one minute everywhere. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, all the overflows, go ahead and begin to pray. Indeed, it is my night. God is giving me a story. This disease, this infirmity is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus. Take a minute to release your faith. It's time for gates to be opened. It's time for doors to be opened. Time for new chapters to be opened. Make sure you are praying, engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor, and limited begging and in servitude in the name of jesus i curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray Lifter of men, lifter of men. I will hold on to the storm, and I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you're the lifter of
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. And then number three, poverty. Do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. There's a song that is in my spirit. Yesu kaine haskena In the kami handan zambi In the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, the light of the world. When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step a day, one step a moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no ma you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you are unemployed, but there is absolutely nothing to write home about. As I pray for the sick, I'm going to pray for those people. I want you to bring them out because the power of God is coming on those people and on those families. I want to pray. As soon as that song was raised, that's what the Lord began to minister to me in my heart. And then I'll pray for the sick. We'll take testimonies now. Ah, there is a light that is coming here tonight. In the name of Jesus everyone paros kadibada please bring them out very quickly we have a lot to do tonight i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down goes up only to come down there is no longevity in impact i decree and declare right now be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment be delivered this moment. Be delivered this moment. Be delivered this moment. Be delivered this moment. My goodness, fire is falling in this place. Be delivered this moment.
Ya Yesu kaine haskena Inda kabi hanya namzambi Ya Yesu say Ya Yesu kaine haskena Inda kabi Inda kabi hanya namzambi One more time Ya Yesu say I'm still praying in the name of Jesus rising and going down by the spirit of the living God whether it's for you or for your loved ones I stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever 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 be separated now anointing i'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases salika parako sadebalende gebos chakras kadebala sudyash there's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head there is healing that god is bringing to you right now everything that is not of god lay your hands i want to pray for the sick now help that man hallelujah lay your hands i want to pray listen as soon as i pray for you miracles are already happening the power of God will touch you right where you are. I want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now. Right now. For those, as soon as I pray for you, a miracle is happening. Check yourself. The moment you find out you are healed, make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ. The first that I'm seeing in my vision here, there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, please play the strings for me. In the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you now. Help them please. May the hand of God rest upon you now. Every demonic headache masquerading as anything, recurrent headache, I decree and declare, be healed now now be healed now any eye condition total blindness partial blindness I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Ghost begin to see now begin to see now there there are people who cannot move their legs I don't know if it's with whatever pain in the name of Jesus the power of God is resting upon you begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of Jesus now hear me all kinds of pains are about to leave you will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely I stretch my hands pain goes now pain goes now help them please pain goes now Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Back pain, be healed now. Shoulder pain, be healed now. Neck pain, move your neck now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There is someone being healed of goita, goita. In the name of Jesus, may the power of God rest upon you. I bring you healing and I bring you life healing and life someone with a heart condition I cause that spirit right now and I release you be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you you are not able to sit down I don't know if it's pile or some boil or just just swelling in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you now you're going to feel the fire of God rest upon you and that devil will leave you now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be 
be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing someone kidney problem you are having kidney problems if I don't pray for that person I'm seeing that you would die in the name of Jesus whether you are here or connecting from any hospital may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from that kidney condition you could not bend every time you bend there is severe pain in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you let that pain disappear now let that pain disappear now the Lord is showing me someone your toes you have a problem I don't know what problem it is your toes it looks like um, it's getting hard I don't know what the medical condition is but I know that it's affecting your toes the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus there is a lady and a gentleman two of them will shout now under the anointing the Lord is healing someone connected to your family this is in the name of Jesus I know everybody but there are two people the Lord is revealing to me and I decree and declare whoever that person is let a visitation come for you come for your family members in the name of Jesus there's someone there are particular foods you cannot eat when you eat them you start throwing up and you will even be sick God is revealing this to me now I am not a doctor I will not advise you as against medical advice but all I know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a woman's husband this is your husband I'm seeing a situation affecting his mobility he's unable to move It's beginning to affect his leg it looks like arthritis in the name that is above all names whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online I declare who is Rachel Rachel come your time has come oh, oh, oh. family of Rachel and the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft this is what I'm saying I decree and declare be delivered now now by the Spirit of the Living God may the hand of God I stretch my hands every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel be delivered now be delivered now what he says to one he says to all be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ is there someone with a name Livinus I'm hearing a name Livinus is it Lavinus or Livinus somebody Livinus the Lord is bringing deliverance to that family Livinus or Lavinus whether you are here or following online I want to pray for you I'm seeing someone in this row I just saw light someone in this row the hand of God is coming on that person right now there are two men of God I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry and another one being open the fire of God is coming on you now two men of God I don't know where you are whether you are here or scattered around father